Hello guys, welcome to Crisp Digitals. This is Chris. Um, thank you for joining me today. Today I will be showing you guys how to install and download uh, the Bible app onto your OneNote. This Bible app was um, actually um, created for OneNote and it's very useful i've used it but for the sake of this video i've gone to delete the bible app itself so i used to have it right here you can see there is still supplemental bible and the dictionaries for the bible so i left these two because these are like you know optional if you want to include these in your bible studies but the bible study itself and the bible you know you can download um, using this step-by-step -step method that I'm going to show you today all right guys so um, somebody actually um, emailed me or uh, left me a message on YouTube that um, they would like to know how I got the Bible app on my OneNote so today I'm going to show you guys how I got them step-by-step -step. all right first thing you will need you will need um, let's see Mm -hmm. checking something here guys sorry uh, where did I put I, I put a list somewhere anyways you will need a uh, OneNote 2010 or 2013 or the latest one 2016 you will need these OneNote um, for you to be able to download this don't worry when we finish downloading it in the um, 2016 we can now transfer them into our OneNote app okay so you will need the 2016 or this is my 2016 OneNote right here this is what it is okay and um, you after installing it into this then we can sync it into the app the OneNote app see the difference see one has the tab on top why the app has the tab by its side okay so that's what we're going to be doing the second thing you would need um, is to get the um, download link I'll put the download link in the description but for those of you who wants to who want to follow immediately you can go to this right here so it's biblenotes.pro alright so biblenotes.pro and if you don't have the 2016 or 2013 um, OneNote you can go to uh, onenote.com slash download here you can download the 2016 OneNote and after finish after i finish downloading it should look like the one i showed you guys before so you can click on download here i'm not going to do that because i already have that so after you download it you it will look like this all right like um this heading right here okay that's how it's going to look like okay so go ahead now and pause the video and download your 2016 um, one note if you don't have that if you already have that if you have a 2010 2013 or 2016 you can continue with us right now okay all right so the first thing you want to do you want to go to this website biblenote.pro and you want to go to download right here okay and you click on that so you're gonna it's gonna bring you here to office 2010 and all this stuff so remember I told you guys to download the OneNote 2010 13 or 16 so you're gonna choose if you have 2010 OneNote you can go here and see which one your office has okay if you have office 2013 you can go here and select which one your office has and then you download that file 
So if yours is 2013 and your office 2013 is times 86, you download this. If it's times 64, you download this, okay? And same thing here. And some of you might be wondering, hey, I don't know how I can figure out, you know, the bits my my computer has or my windows have i will show you that or you can click here and you just follow this step but since this is a step-by-step -step video i will just show you guys how to know what version you're running okay so now you can open any of the office um, application so windows um, uh, excel or powerpoint you can open any of those and they will tell you what you're using and I'll show you guys so for this tutorial I'm going to just use the PowerPoint so I'll click on that so right here I can go to after you open PowerPoint or Windows so I'll show you guys both of them so after you open PowerPoint you go to file and you go to account and on the account you're going to click on about PowerPoint that's where you're going to click I am not going to click that because if I click that it's going to show you my um, um, key pro product key or something like that and I don't want to show that all right and if you let me show you also in with Windows so Windows you can go down and go to account and go to about word and when you click on that it's going to show you your key and i'm going to show you guys how it, it's going to look like but it's not going to include my my um, keys okay all right so this is what after you click that this is what it's going to show you all right so i blocked my keys here okay i blocked them but here you can see i'm using 32 bit right here okay i'm using 32 bit i don't know if you guys let me see if I can show it somehow. Um, let's see. Okay, right here. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this one is bad. But right here, let me change that color to white. Huh? Nope. Anyways, if you guys can see 32 bit, 32 slash um, dash bit, that is the one I'm running. Okay. All right. So that's how you guys can find what um, version of office you're using okay so now that we'll figure that out you can go now and download since mine is 2000 and i'm going to use 2016 and um if you read this it will tell you you know the the um like let me just open it so you guys can read it and see for yourself to tell you that the office 2010 is the first vi um, version of window of office with a native 64-bit version but by default most users will be running the 32-bit version of office 2010 so with that i'm just going to download instead i'm going to go on i'm going to choose one of this 2016 one with x64 all right that's what i'm going to download all right so click on that and if you're using chrome your download will come here all right it will be downloading here so wait for this to download okay it's a heavy file all right it's 4.8 megabytes all right so wait for it to download and after i finish downloading we'll go to the next one which is the module uh module 